Jesus performs a miracle where he multiplies bread and fish enough to feed 5,000 men, so probably 15,000 total people. Now, he did this on a grass plain by the Sea of Galilee. Now, it's called a sea, but other times it's called a lake, and that's how you kind of think of it. It's like either a small sea or a really large lake because it's 13 miles long and seven miles wide, and at its deepest point, it's only 150 feet deep. Now, it is elevation-wise the lowest freshwater lake in the world, and that's important because in this low valley, it actually creates a wind tunnel. But for its size, it does produce a lot of fish. So fishing became a really large industry in this region. Sardines were actually a staple. So it is possible that the two small fish that Jesus multiplied could have been sardines. Imagine that. Now they also caught a lot of other fish called mushed, which today is known as St. Peter's fish. Now this fish has a long dorsal fin and can be up to one and a half feet long. Now it would have been amazing to see Jesus perform this miracle by the sea. So there you go, a little bit about the Sea of Galilee and that's enough today for our historical minute.